Hey, Dad. Yeah, bud. I stuck up to a boy today. Really? What happened? While Karen was picking on Gerald, I went and stuck up for him. And Karen starts picking on me. She says, what do you think about that, Tommy? I said, hey, listen. I would love to see things from your point of view. I just can't seem to get my head that far out my butt. <laughs> hey, John, want to hear a joke? Well, little Johnny grew up, became an undertaker. And one day he came home with a big black eye and little Susie said, what happened? He said, I had a terrible day at work. I went to this hotel and one of the guests had died and they couldn't fit him in the body bag because he had this huge erection. She says, oh my gosh, what'd you do? He says, well, I went on up there and sure enough, there's this big man laying there with a huge erection. So then I went over there and grabbed it with both hands and tried to bend it in half. She says, I see that, that's terrible. But how'd you get the black eye? He said, well, it was the wrong room. Hey, Dad. Yeah, bud? My girlfriend broke up with me today, and I said, that's okay, because you kind of remind me of Thanksgiving dinner. And then she says, Thanksgiving? Well, what does that mean? And then I said, hey, listen, I get really excited at first, but when I'm done with the turkey, it makes me really tired, kind of like this whole relationship. <laughs> hey, Dad. Yeah, bud? I got in trouble at school. Wait, what happened? Well, Mr. Ratsniff was teaching you a class to say no to drugs. I raised my hand and she says, yes, Tommy. I said, in my humble opinion, if you're talking to drugs, it's already too late. <laughs> That's the best answer you could give. Hey, Dad. Hey, yeah. You want to hear a joke? Yeah, I want to hear a joke. Little Johnny applied for a job at Home Depot. And the manager said, you're hired. Little Johnny, right now I can start you at $10 an hour. And in three months, I raised you to $15 an hour. Little Johnny, when can you start? Little Johnny thinks about it. He says, boss, I'll be ready to start in three months. <laughs> hey, Dad. Hey, bud, how you doing? I'm doing good, but Grandma's really mad at me. Really? What happened? Well, I was at church with her yesterday, and she whispered to me, Donnie, I just let out a big silent fart. What do I do? What'd you say? I said, hey, listen, you can start by changing the battery in your hearing aid. <laughs> hey, Dad. Hey, bud, how's it going? Good, but I made this girl cry today, but I didn't mean to. Really? What happened? Well, she told me I have beautiful eyes. I said, thank you. She said, aren't you going to say something nice about me? And then I said, well, your teeth remind me of the stars. And then she said, Oh, because they're so bright and beautiful. And then I said, hey, listen, that and because they're so yellow and spread so far apart. <laughs> hey, Dad. Hey, bud, I was cool today. Good, but I tried to pick up this girl from Texas. <laughs> How'd that go? Well, she told me she's way too old for me. And I said, hey, listen, cowgirls are like cow pies. The older they are, the easier they are to pick up. <laughs> hey, Dad. Hey, what? Want to hear a joke? Yeah, I want to hear a joke. A little kid goes up to his dad at the breakfast table. He says, hey, dad, how do parents think of names for their children? He said, well, son, the night before the baby is born, the father goes and spends the night in a tent. When he wakes up in the morning and sticks his head out of the tent, the very first thing that he sees is what he names that child, which is the reason why... We named your sister Soaring Eagle. Why is it that you asked, Bear Poop? <laughs>